It's December 16th, 2013 at the Okatia Wind Project. It's Monday morning, about a little after 9 in the morning. Current local wind speeds are being reported around 5 miles per hour. Looking across the project, I don't see one wind turbine moving on the entire project once again. Uh, at the uh, Board of Supervisors meeting for this project, um, we voiced our concerns about the lack of wind in Ocotillo for a wind project. And the response from Pattern Energy, Glenn Hodges, was it defies logic to put a wind project in an area where there's not adequate winds. And I have to agree with them on that. It does defy logic. So what is the real reason for this project? As you can see, there's many days out here that these wind turbines just sit here and do nothing. So what is the real reason for this project? It doesn't look like it's about generating power. But again, that's my own uh, assessment there. I really think that uh, they were hoping that these new blades, these B-53 blades, these Siemens 2.3-108 blades, would be the answer to these areas that have low wind speeds. That these new blades would get them over the hump and uh, produce power in areas where there is very questionable winds like this area but I don't think they panned out like they thought they would in fact I think these new blades have uh, probably caused them more headache than uh, than they have benefited from uh, with a little bit of extra power that they may uh, provide. Reporting from Ocotillo on uh, December 16th, 2013 at around uh, 9.15 in the morning, Monday morning. Stay tuned. It's December 16th, 2013 at the Ocotillo Wind Project. It's um, Monday morning, about 11.30 in the morning. Uh, this is out at the uh, north, northeast end of the project uh, looking at the uh, meteorological tower. Uh, this is the tower that uh, is used to uh, determine wind speeds and directions so that uh, the uh, turbines uh, know which way the wind is coming from. As you can see the little spinners there are not uh, moving very fast if they are moving at all. But uh, Go around real quick here and take a look at the project and see how the turbines are uh, performing. Let's we'll start here on the uh, south um, end of the project. I don't see one wind turbine moving. It's been this way for the last, what, three hours? People ask me, why is the project not on? As if for some reason it's offline. I tell them it's on. This is it. This is the wind project. It's online. It's supposed to be powering a hundred thousand homes. All I get is a blank look on their face. They can't believe it.
they respond with things like, you're kidding me. Really? Yeah, really. This is it. This is the big Akatia wind project. I'm gonna supply all this power to San Diego. Looks to me like San Diego ratepayers are gonna be paying a lot of money for this power. About the only thing I know about this project that uh, is going to stand true. Looking around now on the, the project, uh, there's just been no wind today at all. Wind turbines pretty much have been uh, statues in the desert throughout the day today. Again, it's uh, it's 4 4:30 in the afternoon right now as the sun's going down. I'm having trouble finding a wind turbine that is moving. Still looking. But I don't see one. I don't see one moving on the entire project. 112 wind turbines. Zero homes being powered for this. Not one wind turbine moving on the entire project once again at 4.30 in the afternoon on December 16th, 2013 at the Ocotillo Wind Project. As the sun goes down in Ocotillo, Southern California, stay tuned.